This is ADT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title of this video clip is Live and Viral Information. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Analyze an example of live and viral information. Identify the factors that enable viral information dissemination. Explain what happens when live information goes viral. On February 15, 2013, a meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere at about 1,500 kilometers east of Moscow. The meteor entered at about 18.6 kilometers per second at around 9.20 a.m., while some people were at work and others were commuting to work. At this speed, and at a shallow atmospheric entry angle, it became a brilliant superball of fire and exploded at about 23 kilometers of the ground in the astratosphera. The atmosphere absorbed the energy of the explosion, but it produced more than 20 times the energy of the Hiroshima atomic bomb, and many residues reached the ground. The Chelyabinsk meteor was undetected before its atmospheric entry, and needless to say, many people were shocked by it. In a traditional news paradigm, news stations would have waited for official observatory stations to transmit images and would have reported on them. That day, when Pierre opened his computer, he saw on the Yahoo news pages that a meteor had hit close to Moscow and some people had filmed the object from various viewpoints and uploaded their videos onto YouTube, Flickr, and Twitter. Several people on his Facebook network were talking about it, and several articles appeared on LinkedIn about what emergency response personnel can learn from the Chelyabinsk meteor. As Pierre started clicking on the links, he realized that not only the videos about the actual meteor had been uploaded, but also people were uploading videos about the shockwave, people's reaction, and even compilations of security cameras in several buildings were uploaded and appearing randomly on social networks. Such uploads happened in the minutes that followed the blast, even before the news station had access to the information. We are posting a few YouTube videos that you can consult to get more info about this event. The first video has over 38 million views. The links are in the course outline. You can also type a few keywords in your browser and you will find hundreds of comments about this event. When Pierre, who was riveted to his computer monitor, saw the events unfold before his own eyes, his family in Europe was still asleep and didn't hear about the meteor that had just landed in Russia. Pierre immediately messaged them through several apps and asked how they received the news at first. The bottom line is that Pierre knew about the events before his family in Germany and France who are physically much closer to Russia. Moreover, when he sent the message to his family members, they learned about them way before the news was able to provide them with reliable information. In the light of this event, and many more, we can safely state that digital communication technologies completely changed the structure of information dissemination. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. What factors enable the population to disseminate information faster than the news station? What power does the population have in terms of information dissemination? And finally, how does information go viral?